Okay, I'm here at another site here, another foundation. Uh, just uh, on the other side of Nolo. And uh, this one's a little bit later, or, or I mean, I don't know how old it was when it was first built, but we got some uh, concrete in around here, this site. These are some steps that lead down to the spring. But this was like a, oh, you know, very small house. It was dominated by a hearth here in the middle. Uh, you know, this, uh, this would have dominated the first floor. There wasn't uh, a lot of room to, uh, for furniture. I guess you got about six feet there. In the upper side, there's less. But, uh, yeah, I guess they kept warm. But not much room to uh, maneuver around for furniture, at least. But, uh, yeah, there's a shack over there. And then, uh, up above there, there seems to be like a, they dug some soil out for a, a root cellar or something. But it looks like we have some steps coming down here. A landing here, and then we got a big hemlock tree here. I'm sure that was there when the people were living here. And then we got the uh, spring over there. Got um, concrete platforms too, you know, that were originally, uh, you know, protect the, the top of it. And, uh, and up here is where we got this root cellar of some sort here. Got a depression in the ground right there. And then over here, I guess this is the outhouse. Uh, let's see. The outhouse here, possibly there's a hole here. Then we got this concrete fixture here. And it only goes down there like a foot or so. And I don't know, was this also an outhouse here? I, I guess it probably was. Up above the, uh, the shack and down there at the house, the hemlock tree. And that was the first um, outhouse and then uh, down below here I have a target it's a real high conductivity and it's like I can't get down to it it's showing 12 plus inches down uh, there's my metal detector and uh, Still digging here. I guess I'll dig. I'm just about ready to leave. I haven't found anything, but I'm down there about eight inches. And uh, like I say, it's high conductivity, so you know it's not iron, that's for sure. It's consistent. And I guess I'll dig a little bit more. It's too big to be a coin. Directly below the uh, the spring at first I thought maybe it was a a pipe a copper pipe but I don't hear I don't get any more readings here so I, I'll just check it out some more